California to the Nevada state line. Mona Kosar Abdi, ABC News, New York. Your most accurate local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Well, our weather team was uh, planning for sort of a, a mid-morning uh, punch there with some of the snow. Now, areas Mifflin, Juniata, Perry, certainly receiving the higher amounts, even some places reporting about an inch of snow. Other places, not so much, but this is our first and likely only round. Uh, what I see moving on through the rest of this week is uh, just liquid. Now, I'm talking about the month of December, not winter. Uh, so we were going, and we were currently tied for the least snowiest December on record. Well, that changed today. Uh, notice that we got to about 10 o'clock. There we started to see the snow. This is uh, Wildwood Park in Harrisburg. And notice now as we go throughout uh, the afternoon, we're starting to see some of that melt. And some of that is also because uh, of uh, not just temperatures above freezing, but we're starting to see a lot of warmer air aloft. And I'll explain here in just a moment. But overall, it's mist, maybe patchy drizzle, a, a light shower in spots. I want to zoom out and show you something because this is kind of, I don't want to use the term bizarre, but uh, pretty neat, meteorologically speaking. We've got lightning strikes, northwest Huntington County. We've got more as we get off towards like uh, jo Johnstown area. How is this happening? We're into the 30s, barely above freezing. There's lightning to our west. Well, there's a lot of things that's happening. As we show you, notice that warm wedge that we start to see now pushing in the southwest corner of Pennsylvania. We're not going to see it. We do see temperatures holding above freezing though tonight, which is important because obviously we don't want any refreezing that's happening tonight and we're not anticipating that. But notice the fact that Bowling Green right now is close to 70 degrees. So we're seeing that warm nudge trying to push in here. Overall, things will eventually moderate for us. I see for much of this week into the weekend, highs around 50 degrees. So today, certainly the coldest of the week as we have temperatures right now, again, near or above freezing for locations. Uh, the air generally calm. We don't have any windy conditions. I want to talk about this week, how we're going to see about four rounds, four different systems moving in. So this is not a surface map. This is actually showing that we do get, well, there's the one round this evening and tonight. There's the second round that's moving in. And then we get the third round heading into Thursday. Round four comes into Saturday. So we've got a lot of things that are happening for us. As we show you, everything begins to taper off this first round overnight. I'd say by midnight tonight. Rainfall amounts as we move into then Tuesday night and Wednesday will be about a half inch. So again, let's kind of break this down. It'd be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Some stray showers Thursday. Looks like another round of rain develops then on Saturday. So it's not going to be a, a completely soggy, saturated week, but 